It's Chillmonger. This is a flashback to this Saturday when I did 33 burning MCU questions. Check it out. And can't wait for that Spider-Man No Way Home trailer tomorrow. That America is great at. Hey, we're about to get really American with these next two questions. Question number 10 is who <laughs> loves the... Uh, you're the expert on this. You're the one who told me to read Action Comics 900 uh, about uh, uh, Superman denouncing his American stuff. So yes. who loves their country more? Is it John Walker that we met in Falcon and Winter Soldier, U.S. agent? Or is it Abomination, who's another guy who got a version of a serum inside of him to defend the red, white, and blue? U.S. agent. I mean... Yeah. Their abomination wants power. I mean, that was his motive. He was Agatha. I want power. He just wanted power. He didn't like being defeated by the whole. That was his, that was his whole thing. He did not like that, and he wanted the power to beat him. That's what, he just wanted to to see who who had the bigger meat. That's all. See, but you could also say US the same thing agent. about U.S. Agent though, because U.S. Agent but, might have started to be like, "Hey, this is what I want to do." But if the power gives him the ability to protect. Like, you know, like he's like, oh, what we had to do, you know, in, in the war and stuff like that. If the if that's going to the power is going to be able to so he'll be able to stop that before it starts. I, I think it must be like we have to remember that Abomination, the guy already said in the chat, I think he said it, but Abomination went crazy with yeah. the serum. And he just yeah. wanted to beat Hulk. That's all he that was his motivation. Because remember, he was killing other he was trying to kill General Ross. Too, yeah. in the film. So he really didn't care about the military like that. U.S. agent does care about his country, but at least he questions his country and what they how they treat soldiers and stuff because you know he's he still wants to protect America, but he questions his country. But it doesn't mean he's against his country. He just questions it. Abomination when was abomination out. ever not treated you know, okay, you know nicely from his country? As soon as that thing has happened to him, he's been under the country's watch and and, and I guess. Plus, he remembered as, as, as soon as he was born, he immediately started attacking soldiers. If y'all remember, like when he first came out and started walking around, he literally just attacked a military truck and killed them. A, a Humvee. So what are you going to do if you get injected with something that makes you that way and you're told to go wild on the Hulk? Like, you can't hold him accountable for that moment. So John I mean, Walker, just, he didn't have general. a good... What happened well, no. to John Walker the moment he got his shots? Didn't he kill one of these flag smashers? Like You, you have to forgive him for that. No, no, well, the different case, different case. All right, because General Ross gave Abomination the serum. Mm -hmm. He gave, he gave, now nah, he gave, they gave Emil Blonsky some of the super soldier serum. But it was that, it was that professor, the guy who was supposed to be the leader, which they didn't continue on. He enhanced Blonsky, but Blonsky had no, he was not given orders to do that. He wanted to enhance himself and he made himself crazy by doing, by mixing Hulk's blood with his serum and making him the Abomination. And from there, everything that happened is all on Emil Blonsky. He attacked the military. He threatened them. So I understand why he is a much of a threat as they think he is. But in U.S. agent's case, I'm not against him killing that terrorist and stuff. Like, it's a totally different situation. If he just killed him just to kill him, like some hey, killing stuff, is killing. I mean, yeah, killing is killing. But there's, you know, there's levels to it. If he killed him just to kill him like Punch, you're just like, oh, you're just bad. I'm going to shoot you. Like, we know Punch, he just kills anybody if they're bad. If, if you, he will, I mean, he has rules, but he will just literally kill you probably over the little bad thing you did. He's crazy. But U.S. agent, he had a good reason to lash out the way he did against those people. Uh-huh. Because they killed, even though he that person didn't kill his friend, that person was working with somebody who did kill his friend. And he, you know, he was in the heat of the moment and he did kind of feel bad for it i mean he did kind of feel bad for it you introduced Battlestar into here when lamar answered oh what i would do with that serum can you imagine the lives we could have saved what exactly yeah. was john walker's response he wasn't like exactly the lives we're gonna save because we gotta protect americans he never really did that he just sort of listened to him as if like as if that was something that was introduced to him like it wasn't already known why would Battlestar but, have to say that about saving but, other but people he, but remember u.s agent you know he was he even thought, you know, the stuff they did in Afghanistan was like, you know, kind of they was doing some stuff that they regretted doing and stuff. Like, it, this is he the thing. That? Well, yeah, he brought it up. Oh. I, I think it was him. But John agreed with whoever brought it up. John c agreed that they was doing some crazy stuff up in Afghanistan that they could have regretted. That they regretted doing. 
<laughs> Battlestar is Captain America. No, no, he was not. I don't think. I, I think Battlestar deserves what he got. His blind faith led him to that. His his dogmatic views. What would Sheath Palpatine say? Led him that way that he that led him. We're talking about U.S. agent and abomination. If U.S. agent wins US this agent battle, is misunderstood. I don't like this U.S. agent slander that people try to do. He's a misunderstood character. I'm gonna do a video on how he's a misunderstood. I already did it. He's a misunderstood character. Next time we <laughs> see him, they're gonna paint him in the light of a villain. He's not this hero, and he's not a. He's well, not gonna be a thunderbolt. Well, he's he's not a bad guy either. He's that's name. He's not a good guy. Oh, he, I say he's more good than bad, but he's not. If he's not a bad guy at all to me. He's a guy that's just because he's the type of character that would easily be turned into a good guy and work with Falcon and Bucky. Yes, if they have the same he's easily that role. type of character. But at the end of that scene or film or, or or series, he would have had a secondary mission within that mission that has nothing to do with the, you know, the good thing that Falcon and Bucky are there for, because he's just a little bit crooked of a character. Oh, wait a minute. You say I'm say I didn't say he's evil. I, 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 let me defend my guy. In the first episode, when he first met Falcon and Bucky, he came there to help them out. And then he asked them for help respectfully. He asked them respectfully, can we please? He asked them kindly, can we work together? He really wanted to work with them. And you think right? he really wanted to work together? You think he asked that because I maybe think he I think because asking, respectfully. this is a much more easier way to get to what I really want. And that's the glory of being the guy who kicked the foreigner's ass. And by asking this way, I don't even have to lift a single finger or struggle or have some sort of moral conflict. I'm just going to ask him. That's see, why he said it. And even in private, if you remember, he wasn't even bragging about like, yeah, I'm Captain America. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all this and all that. I mean, he was very work. He was. He didn't even think he can live up to it. Remember, that was a big thing, too. He didn't even think in the first episode that he can live up to being Captain America. He was yeah. questioning himself, too. And that's why if 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 he was in private talking to talking to Lamar and stuff like, yeah, I'm Captain America. I'm better than Falcon. I'm going to be Captain America. I can do what Steve can do. I can do all that. If he Never was talking that. like that stuff, then I'm with you. But he was he was being humble in a sense. What John's problem mm. was. And even then, wait a minute. Remember that person spit in John Walker's face? Any any regular person would have probably smacked that person and lost control. But he uh -huh. sat there and took that spit in the face. He took it. Maybe he kind of was into that. Maybe that was the kink of his, you know? Yeah, spit in his face. <laughs> Maybe. But remember, he could have lashed out. Any bad person would have socked that person in the face. Well, I'm not saying you're a bad person. If someone spits in your face and you punch him in the face, there's nothing wrong with that. The person who spit in your face, that's a... Nice but he part. kept the whole hold on. Why are you trying to rewrite this dude as like some noble person? Stop, stop. He's you're, not, I'm you're not you're saying no, stop. he's not a bad person. This is the DC the way. Movie. This is see, this is why Black Adam is going to try to be a hero. Stop it. He's not, <laughs> he's not. US this, agent this, hater. This is, this is this is this is the DC slander coming out. Now, listen, listen. Okay, he might have started that way, and yeah. I don't necessarily dispute that because he was questioning whether he would be able to live because Steve was. Uh, you know, a, a lofty goal to attain, but as he progressed and maybe it's also potentially maybe the, the serum helped like uh, what's the word um, corrupt him, you know, like, I mean, like even with abomination, it just like, you know, it, it, it kind of roided up his, you know, what was already inside of you, you know? So maybe cause he started to become like, you know, I'm, he kept referring to himself as captain America and stuff like that in in falcon and winter soldier so yeah, he was captain america but but steve never did that whenever they asked him yep you know what steve. it's it's I it's mean, uh, yeah, this is I my friend steve. tree i am groot and steve doesn't say i'm captain, captain america. america he exactly. says i am steve rogers i mean because exactly. because we've seen that steve used to but See? when steve so. started realizing his government was crooked and that it can be corrupted he had to go like not refer to himself as much as he's Captain America because he knows still, he's all the corruption. No, 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 no. See, I know you're trying your Man of Steel logic on us, but it's not going to work because that logic. Is, is <laughs> God, he's no, I'm right so about please, he is stop, aging please because stop. slandering him. <laughs> no, 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 no. He never referred to himself as Captain America, ever, ever. He never okay, well, let me ask this. He didn't say it, but do you guys think during the war he was like, "Yeah, I'm Captain America"? Like he, 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 that cap that. Mm -hmm. He he believed in himself. I'm Captain America, and I'm also Steve Rogers. I don't think so. Not like that. He believed in himself, but not yeah. the title didn't mean anything. Right, right. 
he just wanted I mean, to... to me it makes more sense in Winter Soldier that he would be against or even more against just referring to himself as Captain America because he knows the name is also associated with a lot of corruption. Well, he's America's wearing the, he's wearing the outfit though. Like it, you, you have a big ass star, I mean, with a big ass shield. Like you're gonna have to tell people, hey, by the way, I'm Captain America. Like that's that's ego right there, and that's what Walker was doing. So yeah, so like, stop with this. Stop with this, dude. Stop Man, it. it's slander, stop you guys. It. You know what? You, you brought this up. I the cannot question. stand for this. These all, haters, man. All we're talking about is if you <laughs> these who are loves DC the country haters more. right next to me. <laughs> you open no, no these are DC fanboys hitting on a Marvel character right next to me. This propaganda. And... Question 11. What would John Walker tell Colin Kaepernick? <laughs> hey, he would have his back, bro. He would have his back. Because even would, John went against his own government. He would have his back. Nah, he would be like, I fought for this country, and this is the, the respect that I get when I come back here. Well, see, I, I mean, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Mike. You go, no, no, you go. no, 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 no. No, my side wasn't related to being interrupted. My side was just like, I, I, I don't understand, like, and this, this still boggles my mind to this day. When Kaepernick was doing what he was doing, like, why would somebody be insulted by that? Like it's because he's not standing for it. But it doesn't. It, but it, it it's nothing. Like it, it's almost like it's almost like okay. So if you're religious, which I'm not, but if you're religious, do you think Jesus or God or whoever can only hear you when you're in that little the confinement of the church? Like once you go out, oh, he's not going to hear you. That's why you have to go to church once a week, and you know they they shake you down for money and stuff like that, or do you think he hears you at any given moment like all you have to do is just you know address him or even think about it he's all knowing or whatever like all knowing like, that's what I'm, but so that's what i'm saying so like the, i mean the, the the whole thing came down to kaepernick and his his uh his boss if his boss had a problem with it that's the only people that should matter like it's you're not you're not disrespecting the flag because the flag allegedly is supposed to be about freedom okay uh -huh. so he should have the freedom to do what he wants to do now the only person that can tell him is his employer if his employer has a problem with it then that becomes an issue between them two so walker shouldn't really have a problem with it because he fought for those freedoms you can't be conditional with your freedoms if you're going to fight for freedom you either fight for all the freedoms or no freedom yes i also was listening to and it's amazing how many times americans conflate the flag and the song playing as if it's the oh, exact Jesus. same thing. It I can't wears... tell you how many Yankee games I've been to. And like, they, they sit down, they're on their phone, they're eating hot dogs, whatever. Like when the national, anthem, like they don't care. It's like when something's happening that they could potentially like, you know, is controversial or whatever. Then all of a sudden it's like, it's so important to them. It's like, stop, stop. You're being disingenuous. I, I think always each, each flag in everybody's country should mean something to them. Right. right. He, he, whatever flag you stand by, I mean, I don't stand by no flags of any, I can care less. I forgot the national anthem because I don't say it no more. I know the words to the national anthem. <laughs> I know them to an extent, but I, I, I'll be honest, I may have to get on Google and go look at them again because I haven't said it since elementary school. But mm. at the end of the day, that flag should mean something to you. You know, you can stand, I mean, unless you're someone like, you know, back in the Cold War, Russian sleeper agents or whatever that was coming here to try and infiltrate and stuff and actually destroy the government, like uh -huh. take us out. That's a different story. But if you you can disagree with what a, your country's doing, but still stand by it and be a part of it, you just you just disagree with a little small thing. Like John, well, Walker. John Walker did that. Wait, at the, wait. He, he was against his he was against how his government treated him, but he was still you're to protect America. Dude, you're contradicting yourself, though, dude. Like, okay, if you can disagree with America and the things that they do, why would a piece of fabric matter? It's, like, that's it's just more so the song, but okay. The yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying the. It's like, I I agree. People get offended by the the. Like, look, when people, people saw Colin Kaepernick Neil, there was mainly people who was who got mad because you know he was disrespecting the military. That's what they try to associate it with. He's do he's disrespecting veterans and all that stuff they made it about the military but the but wasn't it isn't it wasn't one of his his best friends a veteran and he went to him and said you know if i did this or something like that would, would a veteran you suggested yeah. it yeah yeah so i mean and, yeah, and you want to have this thing where okay so what this one like or maybe even like let's say 20 20 veterans speak 
for the entire community of veterans? Like, it, that doesn't make any sense. He went well, to a veteran who was his friend and said, hey, would this insult you? And his friend said no. So that was it, you know? And that's why at first I he paid... sat down and then the kneeling option was introduced by the veteran. Ah, OK. And, and, that, and that's why I, I say the flag can mean anything to should be mean anything to anybody and that the flag shouldn't mean just the military. It shouldn't mean just, you know, black people. It shouldn't mean just white people. It means something right. to everybody. Right. It represents it's all, of America. To all of us. Yeah. And that's yeah. the thing. Like John Walker, he won't be against it. Maybe he may be like, I don't think he's going to think like, oh, I was in the military. He disrespected me and all that. I think like, you know, hey, he's just doing his thing. Because if John Walker did do that, then he would contradict himself because he went against his own government and challenged he- them. Before the before the serum, I, I think, think I would agree that. with you. After the serum, I don't think he would. I think he would have a problem with it. John Walker's yeah. hot and cold. He's yes, he's no. He's in, he's out. He's up, he's down. <laughs> he's John Walker haters, you guys. All right, wait. Dude. We brought up the songs, right? No, all right. Here, here's the words. K dot. Oh, say can you see <laughs> by the dawn's blah, blah, early blah, 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 light? Blah, blah, blah. What so proudly we hail at the oh, twilight God, last the gleaming. <laughs> Who's who's bright stripes and well, red star broad stripes yeah. uh, through the parallel night? See, I, I well, remember oh say can you see by the whatever light, blah blah uh-huh. blah. That's as far as I remember with that nonsense. But, but Dude, we haven't said that since elementary school, and I was born 99. I haven't said that since elementary school. We stopped in middle school uh reciting doing the national anthem. Uh-huh. We used to do it every morning in middle in elementary school. We stopped it, and that when we stopped saying that, I stopped caring about it because I don't care about the flag like you that. Don't I don't care about like... the rockets, red glare, the bombs bursting in air. No, nah, I mean I don't care. I don't, like you're not finna see if I go to a football game and I and I have to stand up and put my hand on my chest. I don't mean it. I just do it because like oh, everybody else is doing it. I don't want to hear no backlash. I'm just gonna do it, get my ass up, and do it. And I think that's why that. everyone does it. I feel like that's just the herd mentality of everyone. Like yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. be the one who's anti-American, but true say who really wants to get up from their comfort position. All right, guys. All right, hey, it, it's just a, it's just an inconvenience. And I know, like if I go to some place a football game, some of there will be toxic people that are like, "Man, you better put your hand on your chest before I beat you up." I'm not trying to. Oh, yeah. There's people. I'm not saying. That, there's people like that, bro. I believe some people at these football games I will probably really? beat you up for not putting your hand on your chest. Because look at how they treated Colin and stuff, just just yeah. for kneeling against a flag and stuff. I bet you some of those people wanted to jump down there and go punch Colin in the face because he disrespected the flag. He disrupted the song and they conflated the flag with the song and American yeah. veterans. That's that's just a, a, a nice little tight little package that America has sold you guys on that of nationalism. I think LB mentioned something like that earlier. Or yeah. was it Trinity? Trinity, by the way, you're invited. And I sent you the link uh, yesterday if you want to join in, if you can. Okay. Read, reading LB's thing, the flag and the song mean a lot to people. It's not weird. I've seen immigrants cry over the song. Yeah, I, even That's they valid. do. Well, see, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a national anthem or if it's um the other uh the other song, but apparently there were some uh racist uh like it, as far as the history is concerned um but i'm trying to find out what it was because i know it was one of the two it was either star spangled banner or um, america the beautiful or something like that oh that i know was... that one they sing that one at wwe <laughs> for beautiful da, 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 da. those are the words and then it goes america god shed his light on me or or the something 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 uh, liberty that's the words yeah if you yeah yeah well i was um in the simpsons it was um i think it was when the isotopes were playing and lisa uh bleeding gums murphy was there and he literally drew it out because he like christina aguilera did it like you know with the uh, hitting the notes and letting it and it was like literally like five or ten minutes the song was long it was uh hilarious but yeah, gonna, one of those one of those songs was found in racism or something like that. Or yeah, like you know, just what's just because you just because you live in a country don't mean you gotta rep it. Because I'm keeping a buck. <laughs> to to live in a country like America, dealing with taxes, the, the 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 homeless crisis we got, all this bullshit going on. Like, how am I gonna say like America? Like, come on, man, this place is shitty as hell. But 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm America, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. America wait, is Mike, not shitty. I, I, America I, I, is not shitty. The people are. Okay, get oh, that yeah, right. People, because you got monkeys. Are. You got monkeys in politics on both sides. They, they, they're all looking out for their own interests and whatever else. So it's not the country as itself. And I haven't, I haven't seen any landmass other than maybe like you know a desert or something like that. That wasn't, that didn't have something to it, you know. But no, America sucks because of the people that are in charge. But well, yeah, I agree. I agree more with that the people are shitty. Like mm -hmm. at the at the end of the day, with all the problems going on in this country, I mean, I'll be the last person getting up going like, yeah, fuck you, America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if I do it, it'll probably be a joke, you know, of like America, yeah, yeah. Just go. I'm not I'm not those patriots like people are patriots, you know. Now be, before we close this section, because I'm probably gonna take question 10, who loves their country more? Question eleven, what would John Walker tell Kaepernick and create it and put it into a clip and post it. But you wanna sing the Canadian national anthem? Who knows the words to that one? Oh, Canada. All right, you got the first two, yeah? Isn't it like My Heart Will Go On or something like that? Um, Celine Dion song? No, uh, no, it's not. They, they, did, they actually switched a couple of words from there because it says something like God's sons in the, in, the, in the lyrics, and they were like, instead of that, we'll just say they. And so it's not like a male-driven lyrics anymore. Really? Hmm. Yeah, something like that. All right, guys, subscribe to my channel. Obviously, you're you're on it. And then go ahead and check out ssjk.sanctum for yeah, more yeah. from him. And there's Mike from Rogue Comics Online. Check all of us out. And this is the 33 Burning MCU question stream from Saturday, November 13th. <laughs> Moving on.